Guys, before you watch the video, check out the sponsor match bingo. It's bingo with a twist. Instead of playing with numbers, you would play with things that happen in a match. It could be goals, assists, offsides. If you were playing today, there was a lot of goals. If you had them, you cross out your lines, you win lots and lots on your prizes. It's two pounds to enter. Got to be over 18, guys. Click the link below. Download Match Bingo. Let me know how you get on. You will not be disappointed. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Stamford Bridge today with Father after a 6-0 win against Everton. What a result, Father. And after Sheffield, you must be a happy man. We're going up, down, up, down, have we? <laughs> but, oh my days, man. But what did we see today? It was just that... Uh, it was a weird one as well, Alex. Somehow the boys turned up in the first half. Scoring goals left, right and centre. Mate, why can't we do that last week against Sheffield United? Why? Why, why do we have to wait till Everton comes to Stamford Bridge and then we score about four goals in the first half? He's one of our own! He's one of our own! He's one of our own! See you later. Good to see you, buddy. See you later. Oh, see ya. But, man oh man, what did we actually witness tonight? The first four, four goals in the first half and then... And then, and then actually we just kind of like just steamroll in the second half, and then yeah, get that three points. I can't quite figure it out. What did you predict for today? Honestly, I, I would have thought that Everton might set us into a low block formation. I thought they might kind of kind of like part the bus and make us struggle to break them down. It was very surprising to me that they were playing this high line against us against us at Stamford Bridge as well, and they were really exposed they got exposed big time at the bridge and and fair play and i got to say that cole palmer today who would have ever thought that in the in the end of march that he's got that 13 goals and then two weeks later 20 goals a sudden he starts with holland who would have thought who would have seen, would have seen that coming no one no one really yeah let me tell you back to the penalty decision so yeah. at this point so we've won the penalty i think madawake actually won the penalty yeah. right and Manuweke picks up the ball, like he did the other day, mm -hmm. right? The other day against United, I was like, get the hell out of here, let Palmer take it. Yeah. We're trying to win this game. Mm -hmm. we're, we're like 4-0 up, mate. Palmer scored a hat-trick. For me, Manuweke takes that penalty. You're trying to boost team morale. Why are you just popping up one individual? Mm -hmm. But in the end, the team collectively decides that Palmer is the man to take it. Yeah. I presume... Part of the reason for that is because of the golden boot with Haaland. They must have spoken about it and yeah. they obviously know what's going on. But, I mean, what, what's your thoughts on that whole situation? <sighs> I don't really understand why Matueke thinks that um, he, need, he has that authoritarian that uh, he wants to take that penalty. And for me, it's all about that if you're in a confident boost right now, because Palmer is in this height of a confident now, he wants to get more goals in his, in his CV. After what happened last week, of course he wants to get that fourth goal. Of the Joes. Of course he wants to get that fourth goal after what happened last week, yeah? Like, I don't I don't even blame Palmer what he did. And fair, you have to give the credit to Gallagher as well, that as a club captain, he, he's, he's chipping in. He told, he told Madueke to back off and let Palmer do the, 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 all the work, the penalty kicks. And that's why I feel like we still lack, lacking of the leadership between our team, that lack of communication that also installed from the manager as well and now team that the, the the manager also got to be telling the the captain as well that palmer is our designated designated penalty taker he should be the one that taking it but, but, I, but pochettino has publicly said that we don't have a penalty taker and it's up to the players to decide see this is why i also goes back to blaming Poch as well where where he doesn't have any kind of like balls about about saying the ones that are going to take that penalty taken and that is where this this is where the issue comes in between our amongst our fan base because that it's just that we have so many players on our team that we just don't know which one which that's why Poch got to step in there and tell the guys all right lads we are, we have 11 players on our team we need we need to decide who's going to take the penalty kids for the rest of the season that's what Poch got to do otherwise it's going to get chaotic and awkward like that so i'm um, 
I'm, I wouldn't, I'm not even that surprised that people are going at Noni and Jackson on the timeline, but at the end of the day, like Palmer's confidence right now is on the roof now, and he, and uncomfortable conversation to be had though. Is it is Palmer better than Ben Saka? Absolutely. It's Palmer. It's not an uncomfortable conversation. That's a realistic conversation. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. You know what? Forget forget Palmer over Saka. What, what, what about Palmer over Foden over Haaland? Oh, you ready for that convo? I'm ready for it, Father. I'm, I'm ready as well. I, look, how many goals did he get overall in the, in the all com competition so far? About 24 right now, total? Well, if you look at GA, GA yeah. I mean, you're looking at like 36, Boy. around that number. I think I think this is the the best player that we had so far. That for the first season, I think since Frank Lampard days, I think in the I think Frank Lampard first season with Chelsea, I think he scored about 20 plus GA. It's basically, it's almost the same as Palmer, but Palmer's got more now. So we have to we have to appreciate what the talent that Cole Palmer has got on this, into this team. Then let's not forget. Without Cole Palmer right now, we'd have, we'd, have been, we'd have been fighting the relegation spot. So we have to be grateful for ourselves now. And you have to look at as well that Palmer is, is an interesting player, you know. He's, he's very he's very cold. He's a silent assassin for me. He's a silent assassin. And the fact that he's more of a... I don't know what his best system looks like. Is he more of a 10? Is he more of a right wing? You know, I'm not really that sure, you know, to be honest with you. And once we get the full potential and the full... Healthy players back in, massive headache again. What 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 is Palmer's actual best position? That's what we got to ask some question as well. Yeah, I mean, for me, this game could have gone another way yeah. if Everton had taken their chances. Yeah. But that having been said, we kicked on in the second half, which is something we've constantly criticised about this team. Oh, you're a goal up, you're two goals up, and then you decide to sit back and try and hold on to your lead. We didn't do that. We tried to get another goal, and we did. We got multiple goals. I mean, Pochettino, do you think that this is the start of potentially a kick-on, a bounce-back after quite a poor period, considering actually, even though we haven't lost too many games, we still dropped lots of points? It's a tough, it's a tough question to answer for me. I think there's a potential for him that this season could be kick on to push that Europe, Europe Conference League spot, maybe Europa League. But the games that we had right now, it's it's really, really challenging for us to get into that position, to get to, into that spot. We, we, I think we lost a lot of points due to the fact that we can't even turn up against the lower opposition team, like, like I said last week. And that is where I feel like I'm very kind of annoyed that if we would have turn up against the lower opposition teams right now from the 11th to 20th we could have been at least fighting for that Champions League spot and that is really telling that not only the setup as well but also the mentality of the players need to do a lot more for this team to get into that Conference League spot to get into that Europa League spot and look I don't have any doubts that they can do it it's just that you don't have any doubts I don't have any doubts that they, they, they can do it I think they will I think that it's, it's going to happen I think what because we're we're about four points off from the Europa League spot, yeah? Okay. I just think there's a possibility for us to might leapfrog United, to might leap, to also leapfrog Newcastle as well, considering the fact that the season that we had so far, it's yeah. been an up, down, up, down. So, well, one more time. Up, down, up, down, up, down, for the culture, up, down. Oh, uh, mate, I, I'm just, you know what? At the end of the day, we just need to see what Poch's going to do on Saturday as well, like, because... Look, right, people might might get carried away. Oh, we play better football with Enzo. Oh, we play better football with the Sassy. I mean, like, I, I hate Chelsea fan base at time because they're acting like a, a smart robot, but they're just actually dumb in the, in, the, in, the, in the sense that they actually believe believe that they said it's true. This is where I'm kind of annoyed with our fan base sometimes. You just kind of flip flopping up, down, up, down. Yeah, I don't know about you, but Saturday, but... I just have I just have a feeling for a Saturday, Alex. I know about you. Well, I think that based on Pochettino's record against Guardiola mm. this season and generally, I, I think there's definitely a chance against Man City. I actually think that Man City, in a weird way, yeah. is actually the best draw we could have got. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that we got a clean sheet going into this game is so important. You know, it just gives us that boost that right, we can keep a goal out, we can push on <coughs> in the second half. Um, 
But, I mean, to me, it sounds like you're confident about the rest of the season that we can kick on. Does that mean you you have better feelings about the manager as well? <sighs> I just need to see that. I want to see Poch do well on this team. I just want to see, I just want to see a man, any manager that comes into this team want to be success. I just want to see that. I don't, I don't have kind of feeling that I want Poch in or Poch out. I just want to see that any manager that comes into, into this team, I'll, I would love to support it and I would love to kind of like see them into the success. Right. But at the end of the day, like if anything goes wrong up on the pitch or off the pitch, we've got to create I think That's why we, we are, we are yeah, as a football yeah. fans, we are want to be as sensible as as you know, we don't want to put these kind of narrative agendas uh, against the hate on Podge. But it's, it's not always about a narrative and agenda. Yeah. I don't always like that word because just because you have an opinion, I don't always think that's an agenda, right? That's what you think. Yeah. What, what do you think about Podge? You know what? You know, you're the first person I, to said to ask actually about about this question. You know, um, do I think Pot is a good manager? No, he's not that level of the Pep Guardiola. He's not. He's a media manager at best. He's a media. Let's get all that right. He's just Tottenham at the end of the day. He's, a, he's got that Tottenham DNA. But I do, I do have the reason why I want Poch in the first place. But I will whisper it to Alex because I don't want you guys to know why. I, I do have, a, you know, you know, I have a secret about Poch. Yeah, I, I did tell you the other day, didn't you? No, you didn't tell me. I don't know. What? Do, what do you mean? So this is all to do with... Yeah, that thing. Uh, that thing. Just say that thing, innit? Just say that thing. I can't say it publicly. Just say that thing, innit? Say that thing. It's all to do with that thing. Yeah, that Guys thing. in the comments, guess what that thing is? Yeah, guess what that thing is. Put in the caption below. And hopefully, we, we'll see you on Saturday. Do you think that thing is going to join you at some point? Hey, I can't lie. That thing, we might have another com uncomfortable convo as well. Might If we win the FA Cup... That thing might be uncomfortable still. Pot, I mean, Poch win the trophy before Arteta, before Mr. Poshakoglu. You never know, innit? Is that thing they're going to come round and go on a date? Oh, I think, you know what? We have to, that thing on a date, yeah, maybe, maybe you never know. I might take her out, innit? I might take her out somewhere, in somewhere lovely, innit? Are you paying? Of course. Like on a lovely steakhouse night, why not, innit? Yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not paying for potential then, you're just going for the full house. Oh, full house, absolutely. Full house. Just. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you just play the full house. Here you go. If you want some steak, here you go. Some, you know, get, 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 you know, get, get something to eat. You know. Lovely, juicy steak with a bit of French fries. Why not, innit? Nice meal. Nice meal and nice meal. And also, nice meal, we have the three points here. And hopefully, we, we, can, we, can, we can show up on Saturday as well. I just, love to, I just want us to get that Europa League spot, man. I just love to, man.